Yo, g'day guys, Clint here for dropshipsocial.com. Today I'm going to be talking about the, my five top reasons why I love basing myself here in Thailand. I think I might make this a two-part video uh, because I'll talk about some of the negatives in, in, in the next video. But let's talk about the uh, why I love being here, why I'm based here and, and, and uh, everything else in between. So let's get started. My five, my five reasons I love being based in Thailand and why I strove to be here, why I built my online businesses so I could move here. Uh, and you know, let's, let's, let's get stuck in. First of all, it's just an easy going lifestyle, you know. Uh, back at home when I had my other businesses, you know, it's just always stressful, always stressful. Like it's not, not, not you know, non-stop, just grind, grind, grind. And you know, it's just, um, here it's just super laid back, you know. You're just chilling. Um, yeah, the you know the the pace is different. The the life the the, the way that it's hard to explain, but the way life moves moves along is just a lot slower. Everyone just takes their time to do things a bit more. If they're eating a meal, it'll take an hour or two. If they're cooking, they don't care if it takes, you know, three or four hours, whatever. You know, like. Nobody's in an enormous rush and at home, you know, and you know it yourself Everything just seems like it's buzzing 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 and by the time you you've had your dinner and it's time to you know To lay down and rest you're just completely shattered, you know, you just you got my mate's motorbike living the dream But yeah, and they're just you know, you're just shattered and it, the, the pace is just never-ending It's relentless and the stress builds up and that's sort of what I'm getting at. It's just a slower pace the lifestyle I mean obviously You've got the beaches, the mountains, you've got, you know, the lovely Thai people and all that sort of stuff. It also helps. But the lifestyle is just way more chilled. And, you know, I find it, I get way more productive because I'm not, I'm not stressed out. I'm not worried about it as much, you know. Like, you keep life a bit more simple, uh, you know, at least I do here in Thailand. Secondly, it's a lot cheaper and you can save a ton of cash, you know. So, everything is cheaper from, from fuel to buying a car to your house or your rent um you know school fees i won't say school fees because they're not cheap you know they're about the same as at home if you send your kids to a private school but hey the amount you're saving in groceries travel uh you know fun having going out and having a drink at the bar going out to restaurants um all your entertainment you know even things like wi-fi it's just nothing it costs almost you know 700 baht for a month compared to whatever it is else at home in australia i can't even remember anymore but everything across the board is cheaper way way cheaper okay so i might live might live here in thailand really really well for like six say 600 bucks a week i've got three kids as well and a missus who likes to go shopping so let's just go let's leave that there you don't necessarily need 600 bucks a week but i do that's how i live and i love and we live well we live like kings with that but at home i might need 12 12 15 two grand a week at least just to live like a normal person so uh you know that's 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 it's super super cheap like for example it was mother's day yesterday here in thailand we had this massive banquet it was about there was seven or eight of us massive massive seafood banquet with everything you could ever imagine we laid it on for for my mother-in-law and you know obviously uh, my wife for, for the kids and you know whatever that would have cost at home maybe five or six hundred bucks you had to see it to believe the whole table was full with everything you could ever imagine and in the end it cost me two thousand bucks so like just under a hundred dollars like and that that's feeding eight people or it was actually ten ten two kids as well ten people and with the spread you could you couldn't you'd have I wish I had taken a photo. Well, I did, but um, I'm not sure I'll get it on the video here. But so much cheaper, you know. To really, if you're going to have a, you know, splurge a bit, it's not, it's not going to hurt you at all. Like, and then, and then the, then the back up to that is you can save so much extra money. You know, the money that you would have been spending at home just is just left in the bank. You're just banking all day, saving, saving, saving. So if you're earning good money with your dropshipping stores and everything else like that. Um, you don't have to waste it, <laughs> you know, uh, living the Western lifestyle. You can live really well over here and, and you know, save a ton of money. Um, lastly, and it goes back to what we did yesterday, amazing food, endless. Wherever you go, the street food, the high-end restaurants, everything else in between, it is just spectacular. You know what I mean? If you love seafood, oh my God, 
you know, you're in you're in paradise. It's so cheap, and you just and it's just have platters and platters of it. You know, like uh, the food is <laughs> Thai food's unbelievable. I guess the you know if you're gonna if you if you missed your for lung food or your Western food that that's more or less the same price as it as it is at home if you want some quality stuff you know some good steaks and that that'll cost you about the same as what it does at home but um, you know generally if you if you live in Thai stick with Thai food because they do that the best and it's epic anyway so the food amazing uh, travel that's one another, another main reason I love being in Thailand. Is it's a real Bangkok is a real real hub to travel anywhere within Asia. Um, easy for me to get back to Australia. It's a little hop, uh, you know, non-stop flights. Same to Europe, you know, uh, if you want to go to Europe, non-stop flights as well. Uh, it's you know, it's a really it's an excellent hub, you know, and you can just bounce anywhere. You bounce to India, you know, you bounce bounce to Japan, bounce bounce to wherever Taiwan, wherever you like. But it's just the little short hops everywhere, you know, so you can really. Travel, especially Asia generally, it's a really good hub for, for Asia and to Australia, but it's also a good launch pad to go to Europe and elsewhere. So, uh, it's, you know, and little 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 side travels as well, car trips to Cambodia, car trips to Burma, you know what I mean? Boat rides to Malaysia. It's, it's, it's all, you know, it's all very, very convenient and it's an excellent hub, okay? And now the last one, and I'm going to talk about the people, okay? And I'm not necessarily talking about people is in Thai people they're fantastic great people uh, obviously I, mean, I love all my family here and I've got tons of Thai friends but I'm actually talking about is networking and meeting actual ex, ex, expats right everybody who lives here in Thailand tends to have an amazing story you know like you are networking with some crazy people I've always got a saying that you never know who you sit next to it in the pub okay because you strike up these conversations with people that are based here living here you know or, or come here on extended holidays regularly and uh you know it's it's amazing like i'll give you an example the other the other week i was sitting in a bar i was sitting in a bar in bangkok after a meeting and uh actually i was playing i was just playing pool by myself and a bloke come up there you want to have a game we have a game i love pool because it's a nice icebreaker but anyway and uh yeah as it turns out he's you know this amazing um uh developer he's an english guy developer based out of dubai uh, I went there like 10 years ago and, you know, the, the rest is history. He's a multi-millionaire, but he, I mean, he went there with nothing um, except for a few bucks in his pocket. Because, you know, got a job as a real estate agent, bought, it, bought his first house and it snowballed from there. But so interesting. And then, then you know, we're chatting, we're having a, having a beer and then this other guy comes up and he's a, <laughs> so random, you know what I mean? He's, you know, one of these private security guys, mercenary, whatever you want to call him, based out of... Uh, Afghanistan, you know, with a I mean, with a with a slash emerald dealer. I mean, I'm not sure how that works, but anyway, interesting guy. So we're sitting here with these, you know, three people from completely different worlds telling these amazing stories, and the conversation was engaging. It's not like the bullshit that you usually listen to at home. Yeah, how was your day? How was your week? Yeah, same, 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 same. No, that's and this isn't a rare occurrence. This happens whenever I'm out. You know, like. All these interesting people doing all sorts of cool things. I'm not talking about necessarily the digital nomad community. I don't really care about what they're doing. And that's not really, really where I hang out, to be fair. I'm <laughs> miles off the digital nomad, uh, miles off the digital nomad uh, trail, to be fair. But, you know, you meet these amazing people, cool networking, unique ideas, you know, really gets your mind moving and, and seeing that there's so much more out in the world. People are killing it in all sorts of different ways, okay? So, that's about it, guys. I'm making it's a bit of a long video, I know, but I, I love living here. I mean, there's so much going on. Uh, it's not just what everyone thinks sitting on the beach. There's just, there's just so much more to Thailand than that. So, I'll wrap this one up. It's been a bit of a long one. Um, check out dropchipsocial.com. It's a free social media platform. Uh, you know, we're like-minded drop, uh, dropshippers can connect, so check it out. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you like the vid, and until next time, keep living the dream. Uh, I will too, and we'll talk again next time. Cheers, guys.